first massacres perpetrated by Ukrainian nationalists occurred in September 1939. Besides the local Polish community, Ukrainians killed Polish soldiers retreating towards Hungary. The number of victims reached several thousand. The Parozhle massacre in February 1943 was committed by UPA and was a prelude to the Bowin massacres. <laughs> On Sunday 11th July 1943, the biggest and most coordinated attack of UPA and OUN bandits took place against Polish towns and villages. Particularly dramatic were the crimes committed during Holy Mass and churches located in Kishelin, Poritsk, Hrynów, Krym and Zabłoc. Some of the faithful, defending themselves on the upper floor of the church in Kishelin, managed to fight off the attacks. The faithful in other towns were not so fortunate. Priests were murdered next to the altars. In Poritsk, after murdering the Poles, the Ukrainians desecrated the temple. Then they tried to explode and burn it. During Holy Mass, multi-generational families were killed. The logistics of attacks by UPA were repeated, which means that it was a certainly organized action and not independent acts by local bandits. The village was surrounded very carefully so that nobody could escape. Afterwards, the slaughter of defenseless civilians began, in which not only UPA members participated, but also Ukrainians from surrounding villages who were armed with pitchforks, axes, scythes and other farm tools. The Poles were tortured and butchered in the most horrifying ways. The worst fate met women, children, activists and priests. Historians have counted about 200 methods of torture in this genocide. By this means, in these lands, a free Ukraine was to be raised. Orthodox clergy in Wołynia and Greek Catholics in Lesser Poland participated in these massacres and many more refused to condemn them. The Archbishop of Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church from Lwów, Andriy Sheptycki, never spoke out against the genocide. Furthermore, he supported the German formation of the 14th Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS, 1st Galician, made up of Ukrainian volunteers. After taking over town and murdering its Polish civilians, the Ukrainian aggressors robbed and then celebrated their success. Captured Poles were used as living training targets. They were used firstly as victims and for new bandit members too. Villages were completely burned to the ground. Even today there is no sign of several hundred of these villages. In this time of slaughter, UPA members killed Poles in mixed families. They even forced mixed family members to kill each other. We will never know how many heroic Ukrainians lost their lives trying to save Poles.
From the spring of 1943, Polish self-defense outposts were created in Wołyn. Many of them were killed by the Banderowcy. The biggest outpost was in Przebarze, under the command of Henryk Cybulski. At its peak, the outpost had over 1,000 defenders and about 20,000 civilians. Despite repeated attacks, they were never conquered. <laughs>